When we want to explore the relationship between two scale variables, we have some amazing options. One of the best is the scatter plot, also called a scatter diagram. A scatter diagram or scatter plot summarizes the relationship between two quantitative or scale level variables. To create a scatter plot, we plot one variable on the x axis and the second variable on the y axis. In this example, we're plotting height and weight. Each person is measured for both their height and their weight, and the combination of those two numbers creates a dot on our scatter diagram. That collection of dots contains a pattern, which we can further clarify with something called a trend line, also called a regression line that approximates the relationship between the two variables. The regression line can also be used for prediction. So for instance, if I move across the x-axis and find the height of 120 centimeters, I can move up to the regression line and finding the intersection, move across horizontally to the y-axis and determine that a typical weight associated with a height of 120 centimeters would be somewhere around uh, 115 kilograms. The regression line is what is going to allow us to do regression equations, something that we're going to learn about in our Applied Business Statistics course. So then let me show you the basics of how we would create a scatter plot. In this simple example, I have two variables. The X value is student's age. The Y value is student's pulse rate. Let's see if there is any relationship between these two. I have plotted my age variable across the X axis and my pulse rate variable up the Y axis. For each student, I would go over X number of points and up Y number of points. So for instance, for the first student, I go over 20 and up 72 and I place a dot. Then I go over 25 and up 62 and place a second dot. Already I'm seeing some kind of relationship. Let's see if it continues to hold as we add more dots. Over 35 and up 86. Now the relationship has changed. Over 45 and up 64. Over 25 and up 76. Over 40 and up 80. Over 45 and up 74. When I see the totality of the data, there's not much of a relationship there. However, I could still mathematically define a regression line. The regression line would move through the middle of these dots giving me an approximation of the relationship between age and pulse rate. When I examine that regression line, I can see relationships between the variables. Let me explain what I mean about those relationships. In a positive relationship, both variables move in the same direction. As one variable increases, the other variable also increases. For instance, as you grow taller, you tend to weigh more. This is certainly true with children, although that relationship would break down in adulthood. We can't see a relationship between height and weight quite so clearly in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, but we can see one very clearly, looking at students who are in sixth grade compared to those who are in 12th grade. This is a negative relationship. Both variables move in opposite directions. As one variable increases, the other decreases. As amount of time studying increases on the x-axis, the number of mistakes made decreases on the y-axis. There is a negative or an inverse relationship between these two variables. Variables can have a positive relationship, variables can have a negative relationship, or they could have no relationship. In this example, I have created a variable for skill at playing video games and plotted it against the sum of address numbers. For instance, if you live at 1234 Main Street, we add up 1234, your score would be 10. What we can see is that there is no relationship between these two variables. We can see that because the scatter plot itself is elliptical or cloud-shaped. 
There is no linear trend. If I ask you to draw a straight line through these dots that best summarizes the dots, there is no place that you could put one, or certainly not a place where you could draw a line that we would all agree on the pattern. In fact, the very best way to display this particular distribution would be to draw a horizontal line telling us that the best way to use this set of data as a predictor is no matter what your X value is, no matter how good you are at playing video games, we should just predict using the mean on the Y axis. Although we're learning about scatter plots now, we're going to use them when we talk about correlation. And we will use regression lines and correlation again when we learn about regression in applied business statistics. But for now, we know that there are good and bad ways of displaying data. Let's look at the qualities of excellent graphing. Thank you.